Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 50. The Devil's Only Friend by Dan Wells. Hey everybody, usually I just get right into the book review, but I just wanted to say, 50 episodes. Pretty cool. So in the last episode, if you heard, I said I might do something a little special in this episode, since it is episode 50, if I haven't mentioned that already. And so I decided to review a book that I just finished reading earlier this month. It's called The Devil's Only Friend by Dan Wells, which you already heard me say. But the thing about this book is, it's actually the best book I've read this year. I loved it. It's not even a genre that I'm really a huge reader in. Uh, Usually I read kind of feel-good sci-fi or fantasy adventure stories. This was not that at all. But it was amazing. So anyway... I write reviews of books after I read them, and right now, every time I read a review for the podcast, it's usually a review that I wrote like two years ago. Hopefully I'll eventually catch up someday, and I'll finish reading a book, review it, and then record the podcast episode. I'll probably never get there, because I usually read 50 to 60 books a year, so anyway... Let's get on with this review of The Devil's Only Friend by Dan Wells in episode 50 of Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews. This is the fifth book in the series, but the first of a new trilogy in the series. This was a well-planned, well-thought-out book. It's what I've come to expect from Dan Wells. He always took the story in a way I wasn't expecting and really got creative to make this book an immensely satisfying read. I don't usually like dark books. I'm all about adventure stories with happy endings, but this may be the best book I've read all year. (laughs) It totally was. I kind of just want to stop writing this review and go read it again. The protagonist, John Cleaver, has always interested me. He's a sociopath who makes rules for himself so he doesn't follow his desires and kill people. He wants to be a good guy. So he uses his skills to get close to demons so he can learn their weaknesses and figure out how to kill them. Then, the special government task force he works with kills the demon. The idea of a sociopath who you as a reader like and are rooting for seems almost impossible to write. Dan Wells pulls it off brilliantly again. This book kept surprising me. I couldn't guess where it was going to go next or how the problems that arose were going to be solved. They weren't always solved. This was a brutal book. But the answers to the questions were always clever and kept me reading. Without giving anything away, I'll just say that the climax of the story was riveting and smart and creative. This book, though very dark, kept me laughing all the way through. When I wasn't grimacing, (laughs) I was either on the edge of my seat, thinking hard about the situations the characters were in, or suddenly bursting out with laughter. The characters were fantastic in this book. A really cool assortment of people with very scary specialties to hunt and kill demons. They were all interesting and all had a great personality that made them stand out from the rest of the team. Dan Wells used the characters' strengths and weaknesses well when they interacted with each other and with demons. I'm going to start the next book in the series right away. I'm actually, uh almost halfway through reading it right now, or a quarter of the way through anyway. I can't wait to start reading it. Sometime after the last book in this second trilogy comes out, I'll have to read them all in a row. Man, this book was good. 
I'm so glad Dan Wells didn't stop writing in this world with the first trilogy. Awesome. Yeah, this book was so good. And I have some great news for you, the listener of this podcast. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of The Devil's Only Friend, narrated by Kirby Hayborn, who, let me just tell you, is I've never heard Kirby Hayborn's audiobooks before this series, but man, he is perfect. Uh, These books are in first person, so the main character, John Cleaver, is the narrator of the story, and for whatever reason, Kirby Hayborn's voice fits it perfectly, which it's a very uh, specific kind of character. It's like a character you've never read before, and there's so much to him. That's what makes these books so good, but you get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews just for checking out Audible Service. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice for free, but I highly recommend The Devil's Only Friend, written by Dan Wells and narrated by Kirby Hayborn. Now, let's get back to that review. Man, this book was just so good. I think it's because, like, the whole time I was reading it, I just could not wait to find out what was going to happen next, and getting to know these really interesting characters was awesome, and you so- you sort of slowly get to know them, because it's in first person, so everything that you're reading is through the eyes of John Cleaver, the main character, who has a very, very distinct outlook on the world, and, you know... He knows he's a sociopath that has the same tendencies of serial killers that he sort of has had a hobby of studying. So he makes his own rules so that he won't break these rules and become a serial killer himself. But he sort of does to find out how to kill demons. Oh my gosh, but this book is dark. Like, I had a great time reading it. I seriously did laugh a ton, but man was it dark. It's not even, like, super gory. There are some pretty intense and gruesome scenes, but most of the book is just a lot of, like, tense action and kind of, like, mind games and trying to outsmart the bad guy. But just the thoughts that the main character has, like, you love this guy, but at the same time, he is really messed up, and he has absolutely terrible thoughts all the time. Kind of like... Batman has a plan to kill anyone in the Justice League in case they go rogue and become a bad guy. Uh, John Cleaver's like that, except he's constantly obsessing about just exactly how he would kill them. And like in certain moments, he'll just stop and be like, oh, I could do it this way right now. And you're like, dude, that is so messed up. You've got some problems. (laughs) But obviously, we already know he has problems because... We've already read the first three amazing books in this series. So the first one is I Am Not a Serial Killer. The second one is called Mr. Monster. And the third one is called I Don't Want to Kill You. And those all happen when he's like in high school. Uh, All kinds of crap happens in his small town of Clayton. This book, he's still like a late teen. I think he's like 19. Um, but he's on this special task force with all these other older people that have crazy skills and they all work for the government, hunting down demons and killing them. I mean, what doesn't sound awesome about that? You have to read this book. It's so good. Uh, it is really dark, so if you just don't... I'm not someone who likes dark stuff at all. Like, that's why I never read Stephen King until the last few years. I'm like, I'm not a fan of horror. But man, this book is just so well done. I mean, sci-fi and fantasy are probably my favorite genres to read, but honestly, I just like reading good stories. My favorite Stephen King story is The Body, which has like no supernatural stuff in it. It's just like a really good story where you really get into the characters and go on a journey with them. This book, 
it does have supernatural stuff, so it's not just a horror. And so there's cool, fantastical elements in it, but it's not the kind of genre I really like to read because it's so dark, but it was so well done that it was really enjoyable and I just loved it. Even though I, yeah, I guess I've said it before, but I, I like kind of more lighthearted, fun, like Star Wars, like adventure stories where the bad guys and the good guys are very clear and man I just like good stories um, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie that's another one of my absolute favorite books it's not sci-fi, it's not fantasy it's almost like an autobiography of the author except it's all fiction but you're just so close to the main character I think all three of these stories are all in first person and so I guess I really like first person stories and I, I'm a writer too if you didn't know I tend to also write a lot of first person stories and I don't know I just there's something about it I really like I really love the TV show Scrubs where the main character JD is kind of a, actually a narrator of the story and like you'll be watching the story and actually hear him saying a monologue or some thoughts about what's going on in the episode I just love that stuff so anyway if you want an amazing book that will keep you on your toes and keep you guessing and surprise you this book was just fantastic The Devil's Only Friend by Dan Wells this has been the 50th episode of Dan Dan the Art Man's book reviews I hope you guys had a great summer of reading and as the winter is coming and the weather's getting colder, I hope I'm helping you find more great books to curl up with next to the fireplace, or baseboard heater, or under the blankets that are nice, warm, and comfy, or forced air like we usually all have with a furnace. But reading a book by the fire just sounds so much more romantic, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, anyways, thanks guys, hope you have a great week. And we'll talk to you next time with episode 51, Onwards and Upwards. Let's keep reading books. See you later. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.